Hello and welcome to another installment in our series, How to Build a Custom Theme Using the Themeify Builder Pro Plugin. My name is James and in this video we're going to learn how to create a custom footer. Now for the Builder Pro plugin to work, you will need to have either the standard Themeify Builder plugin installed or simply use any Themeify theme. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Themeify Ultra theme. Let's take a look at the footer that we're going to be creating. As you can see, we have our logo, three social media icons, and a standard copyright. You'll notice all of our links turn gray when we hover over them, and we also have a one pixel gray border on top of our footer. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, as usual, we're going to get started by hovering over Turn on Builder, and we're going to choose Pro Templates. Then we're going to click Add New. We'll give our footer a name, and make sure that we choose Footer for the type. Go ahead and click Next. We'll leave this selected as blank because we're going to be creating this from scratch. Go ahead and click Publish. OK, now we can start building our footer. First things first, we need a logo. Let's click the green plus sign and choose Site Logo. We'll make sure we have logo text and site URL selected, and we'll give it an H1 tag. Now we need to change the styling. First things first, let's make it black. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and give the hover color a gray. And I'll click this plus sign here so that we can use this gray color in the future. Now we do want to center our heading. And we'll give it a font size of 26, a line height of 26, And our font is Playfair Display. Perfect. And click Done. OK. Next, let's work on our icons. Again, we'll click on the green plus, And we'll search for Icon. Our first icon is a Facebook icon. So simply search for Facebook and select it. Then we'll take the background off, center it, remove our label, and change the color to black. Then we can go to Styling, Icon, Color, Hover, and choose that gray color from before. We'll go back to the Icon tab and paste in our link. All right, now what I'm going to do is click on this three bar menu icon and choose duplicate. Then I'll do it again. For our second icon, I'll change Facebook to YouTube and I'll change the link. For the third icon, we'll change it to Twitter and we'll change the link. I'm going to choose small, and I want to give it some spacing. So I'll go to the styling tab, choose padding, and I'm going to give it about 15 pixels on top and 15 pixels on bottom. We can adjust this later, but that's good for now. And we'll click done. Next, we need our copyright. We'll click the green plus again, and this time we'll choose the text widget. Now I'm going to click on the text tab so that we can see the code. And to get our copyright symbol, we simply type ampersand copy semicolon. Now when we go back to our visual tab, we'll see the copyright symbol. Now we can type the rest. To make a link, we simply highlight the text and click the link icon. And we'll type in our link. and hit Enter. 
we want to center our text and we're going to go to styling and make the font color black. We also want to go to link and make that black as well. Then we want to click on hover and choose our gray color again. And I think I want to give this a little bit of spacing as well. So we'll go to padding and I'm thinking another 15 pixels. Now for our border on top, we're actually going to come over here to the purple circle so we can edit the styling for this whole row. Click on the paintbrush. We'll select border. Make sure top is selected. And we're going to use the same gray as before. Make our border one pixel thick. We'll click done. And I think I also want to add some padding to the top. So I'll go back to the row settings. Choose padding. And let's try 30 pixels. Yeah, we'll see how that looks. Click done. And I'm going to click save. And we'll see what this looks like on the front end. OK. Oh. oh, as you can see, we need to get rid of the underline on our heading. Our icons work. And our copyright link also has an underline that we need to get rid of. So let's go ahead and click the purple edit template button. We'll edit the heading first. Go to styling, link, text decoration, none, hover, none. And we'll come down here to our text, edit that, styling, link, text decoration, none. All right, let's see how that looks. Perfect. As you can see, all of our links turn gray when we hover over them. And we have our gray border on top of our footer. I still think we need a little bit more padding above magazine, so I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Edit template. Click on the paintbrush. And for padding, I'm going to go with 50 pixels. Click Save. Click the X. And there we go. We just built a custom footer from scratch without having to know any code. Of course, we could continue to tweak this if we wanted to, adding spacing here and some margin there. But hopefully, this gives you a really good idea of the power of the Builder Pro plugin. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.